Hello guys, this is Ken Guy for Nerdy Tech Guy. I am here back in Chicago and um, compared to New York it's cold out there. Anyway, um, um, sorry for the hat, I have hat hair today and um, yeah, so I just decided to put a shell on while I give you a short review of the application for my iPhone called Waze. It's very cool. Why am I reviewing this? Here, let me give you a short look at it first. Can you see that? And then, whoop, 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 whoop. it goes sideways too. Uh huh. Let me see. I guess it's kind of cloudy right now on the camera. But um, somebody told me the other day, hey, um, why don't you pay ten dollars a month for that AT&T GPS service? That's really cool. And um, I was uh, telling him, you know what? Why pay uh, ten dollars a month for GPS service? Don't you know that? There's a bunch of applications on the iPhone that actually um, do GPS just as well um, and, and that are free. And so my friend didn't have a clue. And uh, so the one that I use is the one I'm going to share with you today called Waze, W-A-Z-E. And um, I like this app because uh, one, it's a very good GPS program as we saw before. Um, you can see part of it there. Let me see if I can angle it in a way. Yeah, see? So you can see it up and down. And um, something that was done very recently, uh, so recently that I was surprised when I showed this to my cousin, is that when you turn it sideways, ah -ha -ha, you can now see the map. Sorry, my right and left is messed up. Um, anyway, um, you can see the map and you can view it sideways so for people like me who put this thing in the ashtray tilt it up like this and have the cords um, sticking out of the side actually uh, you know for the headphones for my music and then the power on the other side um, is very 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 convenient for me to use this as a GPS and um, like I said in the past uh, last time I used it it didn't do the pivoting thing the screen pivot so I'm very excited about this. Um, let's see, another thing that you can do just as a side uh, story with it is um, they put little dots and little indicators of places you want to visit or uh, if there is inclement weather um, around on the map so you know what's going on and then uh, as far as weather and traffic and things like that um, also they put little dots on there um, because you can use it as a Pac-Man type game. As you drive around, you'll find that um, if you take some roads that many other people are not taking, you'll actually be helping them build their map service. And uh, by doing that, and also driving on those roads, like I said, that not many people drive on, you can score points. And so far I haven't figured out uh, what these points are good for. It's just kind of fun and I like to stare at it uh, sometimes. Not while I'm driving, of course. But um, yeah, you can score points, and actually I live on a block that not many people drive on. So um, yeah, as I come home, I came home the first time I used it, I was able to score some points. So, um, and then let's see, I didn't see any on the screen this time, but sometimes they replace, uh, they put some extra icons like fruits and things like that to mimic, I, I guess, Pac-Man also. So you can um, score extra points by driving around and getting berries and fruits and things like that. Um, and like I said, oh, let's go to the GPS feature actually. It does have a voice. Since I'm not moving anywhere right now, I can't uh, show you the voice, but it's a female voice, uh, very friendly sounding, you know, computerized voice. And um, it does say turn left at the next intersection, turn right, um, things like that. It does give you information as you drive. Um, I will say this though. I've used this uh, Waze program along with my uh, Mio, M-I-O, my Mio GPS, which is a regular uh, real company standard, you know, GPS company system. And um, using them at the same time, I've noticed that the Waze does get you where you want to go, but sometimes, because I guess the map software isn't totally developed yet, it tells you to take some roads that I don't find it would be easier uh, or normally I wouldn't take. So um, be aware of that. It's a great GPS system because you will go where you need to go 
but sometimes the streets it asks you to take aren't uh, really first choice, I guess. So, anyway, that's my review of Waze, W-A-Z-E, the application for the iPhone. And, um, yeah, I uh, hope you'll give it a try. Don't pay AT&T. Don't pay them $10 for that stupid GPS service. Uh, I'm sorry, but um, <laughs> it's just way too expensive uh, every month to be doing that. And um, if you don't like Waze, there's a couple other apps, too, that do the GPS. But uh, I find this one to be the best right now. Um, okay, so that's it for me. I want to say a great Happy New Year to all you folks out there who are watching my videos. And um, let's see. Yeah, just have a good one out there. Um, have a great day, and I will see you next time. This is the Nerdy Tech Guy, Ken Guy, signing off.